Beep, 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 started. Hey guys, it's Emily, and you're watching M Loves TV, the place to be if you're looking to meet and attract the perfect partner. Location selection plays a major role in our day-to-day -day lives. The stores we shop in, the gyms we go to, and the social events we attend all tell a story about the, the type of people we are. Last episode, we concluded our four-part location selection series, which discussed how location selection can affect a date itself. Today, we're going to talk about how selecting the correct environments can also influence the type of people we meet. Why is this important? Because if you want to meet a compatible partner, you should frequent the places they naturally hang out. In this segment of M Loves TV, you're going to learn how to select the proper location to meet compatible people who share the same interests that you might actually want to date. So how do you do it? Step one, make a list of 10 places you would expect your ideal partner to spend his or her time. Here's a hint, smart people tend to frequent coffee shops, libraries, bookstores, live speaking events, and conferences in work areas. You can interact with them on lunch breaks and after work. People who like to maintain their physical health hang out at the gym, yoga classes, the mall, Whole Foods, Bristol Farms, etc. People with a good sense of humor might be at a comedy class or comedy show. Animal lovers might be at an adoption event, charity event, or pet co. There are many more options and the easiest place to look is on meetup.com. There you will find a plethora of free events and activities to choose from. Step 2. Visit three of these locations and initiate conversation with someone you don't know with the goal of having a meaningful conversation with them. A meaningful conversation is defined as a conversation that lasts no less than five minutes and one where both parties share at least three pieces of emotionally significant information about themselves. You don't have to ask beautiful men or women for their phone numbers and you don't even have to talk to them directly. Anyone in the environment will do. Simply go to the locations they are likely to be and talk with new people. Simply place yourself in the environments your ideal partner is likely to be. Turn down the volume on your logical side and allow your emotional side to come through. That's what they'll be attracted to. Identify the places where your ideal partner might be found and then go there and initiate conversations with people. And now you know how to select the proper location to meet compatible people who share the same interests that you might actually want to date. For more great tips to help you attract the perfect partner, log on now to mloves.com and check out my video series, The M Loves Academy. Okay. Now I want to hear from you. Tell me about your favorite location in San Francisco to meet compatible people in the comments below. As always, the best discussions happen after the episode over at mloves.com. So go there, write down your very favorite location in San Francisco to meet compatible people and tell me about it right now. And if you're a Bay Area resident and need help finding someone special in your life, create a complimentary, private matchmaking profile right now at mmatch.com. My database is filling up and the love connections are underway. Thanks so much for watching M Loves TV and keep up the good work because you deserve the perfect partner. I want to hear from you. Oh, my computer just went off.